Number 6. Grisaya Series Yuji Kazami is a transfer student who's just been admitted into Mihama Academy. Wants to live an ordinary high school life. But this dream of his may not come true anytime soon, as Mihama Academy is quite the opposite. Consisting of only the principal and five other students, all of whom are girls, Yuji becomes acquainted with each of them, discovering more about their personality as socialization is inevitable. Slowly he begins to learn about the truth behind the small group of students occupying the academy. They each have their own share of traumatic experiences which are tucked away from the world. Mihama Academy acts as a home for these girls. They are the fruit which fell from their trees and have begun to decay. It is up to Yuji to become the catalyst to save them from themselves. But how can he save another when he cannot even save himself? Number 5. Classroom of the Elite On the surface, Kodo Ikuse Senior High School is a utopia. The students enjoy an unparalleled amount of freedom, and it is ranked highly in Japan. However, the reality is less than ideal. Four classes, A through D, are ranked in order of merit, and only the top classes receive favorable treatment. Kiyotaka Ayanakuji is a student of class D, where the school dumps its worst. There, he meets the unsociable Suzun Horikita, who believes she was placed in class D by mistake, and desires to climb all the way to class A. And a seemingly amicable class idol, Kikyo Kushida, whose aim it is to make as many friends as possible. While class membership is permanent, class rankings are not. Students in lower ranked classes can rise in rankings if they score better than those in the top ones. Additionally, in class D, there are no bars on what methods can be used to get ahead. In this cutthroat school, can they prevail against the odds and reach the top? Number four, erased. When tragedy is about to strike, Satoru Fujinuma finds himself sent back several minutes before the accident occurs. The detached 29-year-old manga artist has taken advantage of this powerful yet mysterious phenomenon which he calls revival to save many lives. However, when he is wrongfully accused of murdering someone close to him, Satoru is sent back to the past once again, but this time to 1988, 18 years in the past. Soon he realizes that the murder may be connected to the abduction and killing of one of his classmates, the solitary and mysterious Kayo Hinazuki that took place when he was a child. This is his chance to make things right. Erased follows Satori in his mission to uncover what truly transpired 18 years ago and prevent the death of his classmate while protecting those he cares about in the present. Number 3. Psychopaths. Justice and the enforcement of it has changed. In the 22nd century, Japan enforces the Seibel system, an objective means of determining the threat level of each citizen by examining their mental state for signs of criminal intent, known as their psychopaths. Inspectors uphold the law by subjugating, often with lethal force, anyone harboring the slightest ill will. Alongside them are enforcers, jaded inspectors that have become latent criminals, granted relative freedom in exchange for carrying out the inspector's dirty work. Into this world steps Akane Tsunimori, a young woman with an honest desire to uphold justice. However, as she works alongside veteran enforcer Shinya Kugami, she soon learns that the Cybel system's judgments are not as perfect as her fellow inspectors assume. With everything she has known turned on its head, Akane wrestles with the question of what justice truly is, and whether it can be upheld to the use of a system that may already be corrupt. Number 2. Stein's Gate The self-proclaimed mad scientist, Rintaro Okabe, rents out a room in a rickety old building in Akihabara, where he indulges himself in his hobby of inventing prospective future gadgets with fellow lab members Mayuri Shina, his airheaded childhood friend, and Hashida Itaro, a perverted hacker nicknamed Daru. The three pass the time by tinkering with their most promising contraption yet, a machine dubbed the Phone Microwave, which performs the strange function of morphing bananas into piles of green gel. Though miraculous in itself, the phenomenon doesn't provide anything concrete in Okabe's search for a scientific breakthrough. That is, until the lab members are spurred into action by a string of mysterious happenings before stumbling upon an unexpected success the phone microwave can send emails to the past, altering the flow of history. 
Adapted from the critically acclaimed visual novel by 5PB and Nitro Plus, Stein's Gate takes Okabe through the depths of scientific theory and practicality. Forced along the diverging threads of past and present, Okabe must shoulder the burdens that come with holding the key to the realm of time. Number 1. Death Note A Shinigami, as a god of death, can kill any person, provided they see their victim's face and write their victim's name in a notebook called a Death Note. One day, Ryu, bored by the Shinigami lifestyle and interested in seeing how a human would use a Death Note, drops one into the human realm. High school student and prodigy Light Yagami stumbles upon the Death Note and, since he deplores the state of the world, tests the deadly notebook by writing a criminal's name in it. When the criminal dies immediately following his experiment with the Death Note, Light is greatly surprised and quickly recognizes how devastating the power that has fallen into his hands could be. With this divine capability, Light decides to extinguish all criminals in order to build a new world where crime does not exist and people worship him as a god. Police, however, quickly discover that a serial killer is targeting criminals and consequently try to apprehend the culprit. To do this, the Japanese investigators count on the assistance of the best detective in the world, a young and eccentric man known only by the name of L. Well, this was today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. And also, enter on my Discord server. The link will be in the description of the video. Anyway, see you in the next video.